give us that confirmation. So I think having that, that degree of certainty, uh, the ability to plan and having some optimism that we are moving forward without any of those restrictions will help to inject some much needed confidence back into hospitality. Ministers say they're also working to ensure people who are fully vaccinated don't have to quarantine or return from amberlist countries. Heathrow Airport says it's using both runways again for the first time in more than a year. Airport bosses also say Terminal 3 will reopen next week. A teenage boy has died after being stabbed in South East London. Police say it happened just after 5pm this evening on a road in Woolwich. No arrests have been made so far. The Prime Minister joined healthcare workers at a special ceremony to praise the NHS on its 73rd anniversary. The Queen's awarded the George Cross to the National Health Services of the UK. The Duke of Cambridge was at the service, but the Duchess wasn't. Kate is having to self-isolate after being told she'd been in contact with someone who later tested positive. Scottish teenage world card Emma Raducanu's Wimbledon journey has ended. The 18-year-old had to retire with injury in the fourth round after losing the first set against Australia's Isla Tomlianovic. The LBC Markets report in the city, the FTSE 100 closed up 42 points, the pound 65, the pound buys $1.39 and €1.16. LBC weather showers mostly dying out in Scotland, but heavy rain moving northwards across England and Wales, a low of 9 degrees. From Global's newsroom for LBC, I'm Lucent of Horsley. Tom Sorbrick for the late night show. I'll be in for Tom all week. That's Monday to Thursday. And then, of course, back for the regular weekend show on Saturday and Sunday. Stay with us if you're interested in what's being known as the Kill the Bill protests. Do we need to kill the policing bill? Former senior police officers have now intervened, arguing that Home Secretary Priti Patel's plans to curb protests have dangerous and harmful implications for our democracy. Do you agree? And then, towards the end of the show, we'll be discussing the culture wars. Have you?